Hello there everyone, Ashton Flash here and welcome on in to an update and follow up video to a Lego Disney 100 set video because last week or maybe it was the week before this set leaked which was set number 43227 the villain icon set and we didn't even know the name we weren't 100% sure on the price the release date and all that so I'm here to give you all that and take a closer look because it's insane. We've got uh, it retailing for $129.99 USD or $169.99 Canadian beginning on June the 1st alongside that other set. But I want to focus on this one specifically because it's really, really crazy. I don't think we've even seen all the little secrets and things in here. If you don't want to be spoiled it, there are things in this set that open up and little secret compartments in this. It's not just... A gorgeous looking display set there's a lot more going on here but let's take a closer look at the figures now that we have high quality images so Maleficent's here and she's got a brand new dress new torso new face print there as well also the collar piece is brand new there too compared to the one from the minifigure series I really like that version I think it looks really great and the staff is an interesting build for her Genie Jafar, oh my goodness, looks so cool. I love just what they've got going on here with the torso printing there and how they've highlighted the abs with like dark red. Looks great to give it a little bit more detail. I like the arms. We've got some side arm printing there with the bands, I think is really great, as well as the face is perfect. The hair though, it's interesting that they didn't bring back the genie piece there with the earring and everything there. I think to me, I see that and I think, huh, I don't think Genie will be re appearing or returning in any of the sets because otherwise I feel like they would have brought back that piece for him and Jafar. So I, I think that uh, I have no problem with that being used here for Jafar. I'm just so happy that we're getting it, honestly. And I think this is the one that most people are excited about with Gaston. Like... I, I have no words. He's 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 perfect. The hair piece there, the Will Turner hair from Parts of the Caribbean, the giant smile, and I just love like the torso printing, the sleeves, the leg printing there as well. It's it's incredible to have him. And then the old hag or the evil queen disguise is so so cool. I really love just uh, the idea of the hood there, but having the hair a little bit printed down below I think is very fun that face is so creepy they really captured it even without the the nose I still think you look at that and you really get that sense that it's her also dress printing which is like so unnecessary but awesome and the poison apple there as well would have been cool to have like something you know a little maybe dual molded or something going on there but regardless Let, let's take a closer look then at this shall we because uh we'll look at the actual poison apple build there that's sitting on top of this vhs of aladdin and so the apple there is sitting on top of the vhs there of aladdin it looks incredible i love the drip effect there of the poison the leaf as well the build for that the little stem amazing but then here's where the fun begins you can actually lift up the one part of the apple and it opens up the inside where you could store the old hag. So I'm going to show you the other little secret compartments here. So the first one here that we'll look at is the Sleeping Beauty one. We didn't have images of this before, but the VHS cover here, again, this is a, a VHS sleeve of Sleeping Beauty. I really love that two by four Disney tile. It appears in this set and other ones. And then Sleeping Beauty down the side, as well as the Maleficent 4x4 tile there is so, so cool and detailed. And then the actual cover of it has a, like a mosaic sort of, of Maleficent on the cover, which looks really great. As well as you've got that gorgeous giant tile that says Disney Sleeping Beauty. That piece was introduced for the Disney books, and they are just incredibly detailed and printed. Really awesome to see here. But anyways, you grab on her staff opening up the front of the cover and it reveals Maleficent on the inside there so you could store her up there at the top of the VHS one and then when it comes to the Aladdin one you actually have again the same sort of thing this VHS cover has a, an incredible 
side design there with Jafar again on that 4x4 tile. And then you've got uh, the little Aladdin piece there on the side. And then the top of the cover that's covered up by the apple and the, the cards that we'll talk about in a second. You can see that uh, it's Jafar again. And you open it on up and you could just drop little genie and Jafar inside there. And, you know, I think that the ones that you just drop them inside are not the ones that are as exciting as like the apple opening it up or this last one, which is actually this little hidden compartment at the bottom of the Beauty and the Beast book. that You just slide on out and you put Gaston inside. But there's also this other picture that we've seen here. This is from Marco Spesa and the designer of this set in the Little Mermaid clamshell, the 2016 Disney castle. So anyways, he showed off this picture that there is this little spot, I think that you pull down on the, the back of the book and it flips up this little rose canister piece there. And I think that's such a cool little thing to have. Having the Beauty and the Beast rose there is very, very awesome. Um, something else really cool, we're going to talk about the VHS of the Little Mermaid next here. And this is just... It's crazy. So on the top of the VHS, there's actually, if you open it up, you can see that they've got all these little film panels there recreating and going through the story of The Little Mermaid. So first you've got her, you know, singing on top of the rock there. And then she's got uh, the little statue of Prince Eric that she finds. You've got Flounder and Sebastian and her combing her hair when she's on land there uh, with the dingle hopper and then her and Eric on the boat during Kiss the Girl. Also, wonder if we're gonna be getting Prince Eric in Lego form, maybe, hopefully. And then giant Ursula there as well with the Triton at the end, so that's awesome. Also, Ursula on the cover of The Little Mermaid. Doesn't necessarily make sense, but obviously I think this is just all about the villains here, right? So that's why. And then the other build here that we have is the playing cards and that is so cool i really love that they've taken the design of the queen of hearts from alice in wonderland from the disney 100 minifigure series and sh her face is there but they've made it an actual card so th they've designed it to like look perfectly like that you've even got the two by six there at the top and the bottom with the queen there in the the queue for queen so very cool to have that and then also this is my least favorite part it's the captain hook little watch that he holds and i like the idea of it being included that's not the issue i think the build looks awesome and how they've got uh the the loop and everything the hands on the clock awesome 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 but then you look closer and it's got actual like human versions of peter wendy john and michael i why why did why are we humanizing them those should be legoized i like that's that's genuinely really disappointing to me overall i really think that this this set is is just insane like to, to be getting all these things in this set, it's just incredibly detailed and getting all those characters we've wanted for so long. Couldn't be happier. But anyways, be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO Disney set news and reviews. We are going to be looking at this on the channel. And if there are other secrets, you will see it in that video. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.